I grew up uh, in a Christian home, so my father ended up being a minister. At the same time, uh, when I was about four, all my brothers started wrestling. I was kind of uh, pushed into that atmosphere as well, and I grew up on the mat and in the church, and those were the two things that uh, kind of influenced my life. I was very successful in high school. I had a super bright future ahead of me. I, I went on to wrestle for the University of Minnesota and I had a successful career there, but not nearly what I wanted to accomplish. And a lot of it had to do with just decisions I was making and I had, I had really walked away from the Lord. I, I had had a typical college experience where uh, Sex, drugs, alcohol, all those things were the tool that, that just pulled me away from my relationship with the Lord. I was successful, I was wrestling well. I think I had one loss my senior year and uh, I was doing great, but wrestling was my God. It was still the most important thing to me. And, and that's not okay. When, when you're a Christian, God had to rearrange those things in my life. And that, that was my breaking point. And he, he pulled the rug out from underneath me and my world came, came collapsing until he could take those things and, and reorganize them and, and get my priorities straight. My senior year, we were the hands down favorite to win the NCAA title. I was ranked really high. I take responsibility for us losing the NCAA title that year. It was a, a lack of performance on my part and I was still bitter. I was angry. I was freaking out that uh, I, had, I had lost and all these things happened. Up to that point, John Peterson had been uh, discipling me, really. He'd been driving from Wisconsin to come to Minnesota to meet with me, and he put his hand on my shoulder and he, t he said, Josh, even in this, uh, you have to be able to glorify God. These things that were so important to me, especially wrestling and these goals I had, were the, were the very things that I had put before God. And, and what's really cool when I think about it, those are the things that, that he used to break me. And then he came back and he redeemed all those things in my life. I'm able to be a pastor now. I'm the senior pastor at Calvary Chapel, Yorba Linda. And when people ask me what was my seminary, I tell them wrestling. Perseverance and hard work and, and faithfulness. And uh, you know, there's so many of those same exact principles that relate directly to our Christian walk. Now I get to step back and use all those same principles and look at my relationship with the Lord, which is, which is far more important than wrestling. My name's Joshua Holiday. I'm a husband, I'm a father, and I'm a sinner who is saved by grace.